but like just this thing just sprays the room with freaking ah. Uh. Hello, Internet. I'm Marty. This is Walk and Talk Episode 4, talking about the Eastwood Guitars Airline H78.
so that being said, um, super fun to play. Stays in tune. The upgraded tuners are cool. The roller bridge, really cool. Makes the vibrato so much easier to use. Um, pickups are really cool. Sounds so good. Um, the negatives, you could see in the video, I pointed out where the strap button had popped loose. I think that has a lot to do with the way I kind of force the guitar down as I'm playing. It's just a quirk of my own. And it's a hollow body, so I don't. there's not a lot of wood to, to go into. So I think, um, for me personally, I'll probably move that button down on the back of it. Ruin my finish, but, you know, it'll be playable. So there's that, and uh, which I... I don't know if you can really blame Eastwood for that. I, I think if you're listening, Eastwood, I put the button on the back in the center block and problem solved. Um, the other thing is, is some people will care about, you could see where I pointed out some problems with the finish. Um, in particular, the black, they paint the routed out areas where your pickups go. They paint that black and you can see on mine some where it's dripped down and streaked. It's under the clear coat and I, I could care less. It's character and I don't care. And then little things, the way the neck joint fits in, it may be the original design, but it just, there's a gap there and I don't know. But what I do know is that when I pick that guitar up and play it, it feels like an expensive guitar. It certainly sounds like an expensive guitar. So who cares about that? I don't. The other thing you can see where I was, I'm able to slide my a pick behind the plate for the output jack of the guitar. And that, it's just, you can just tell the curvature of that jack is different than the shape of the body. And I don't know if they just used one, they used it on a couple different bodies and it was just like whatever, or if I just, this one particular plate, but whatever, quality control, whatever you want to call it. To me, that's a little bit weird, but the jack itself is very secure and it works perfectly. So again, whatever, it's a cool guitar. I like it a lot. You should totally check out Eastwood compared to if you were going to buy I mean Gibson doesn't make a guitar that's exactly like this but if you were going to buy a brand name you know you're going to spend so much more money and if you're going to try and get that sound out of an Epiphone or like the Ibanez which are again cool I'm not, not again I haven't said it yet but those are cool guitars those can be cool guitars but there is no difference um, or no comparison between an Epiphone and this guitar. Totally different class. The, that, that guitar, totally different class to the Epiphone and the Ibanez. Um, I think they're, are they Art Stars? Art Core? Whatever. Um, it's just a cool guitar.
So I've been Marty. You've been wasting your time on YouTube. Again. Good job. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I hopefully will see you next time on Walk and Talk. Later! But, like, just this thing just sprays the room with freaking ah. Oh.